Undervale midfield coach Dale Tapping. Dale, thanks so much for joining us. What a game yesterday. How did the coaches see it? Um, yeah, it was, look, it was a terrific you know, game, and obviously the feedback's been you know, sort of externally that yeah, you know, it was a great game of footy for the spectators and high scoring. But um, yeah, you know, for us it was another opportunity that we yeah you know, we just couldn't quite sort of get through the door. So um, yeah, we certainly had our opportunities and we just couldn't quite get there in the end. Close enough, but um, not near good enough at the moment. You're saying that we scored 116 points and usually if you're scoring that much, you're on the winning side. Um, how did you find the guys kicking efficiency that game? I think we were at 10 goals zero at half time. Yeah, exactly right. Like if you, if you, you, know, you kick 114 points, you're normally, you know, you're pretty much going to win most games of footy. So that was pleasing for us to to really penetrate the scoreboard in the manner that we did, particularly after quarter time. Um, look, and with our goal kicking accuracy, it's something that you know, forwards coach Jed sort of worked really hard on, um, you know, not only the last couple of weeks, but you know, throughout my time here. So it was sort of all come together on the weekend, guys going through the routines and you know, just taking best shot. Look, a lot, of our, a lot of our shots come from really good areas in our forward 50. Like there was no low percentage shots or anything like that. So we're putting the ball into really good spots where guys could be, you know, have a lot of confidence in sort of, um, you know, taking the shot for goal. And of course, it was a huge night for your Dane Zorko in the midfield. He kicked four goals and had 30 plus possessions. How good was it to see him unleashed? Yeah, well, yeah, I think he just, there was just a few things he had to sort of address you know, himself. He's obviously had a lot of support. Um, you yeah, know, there's been, been plenty around the place to sort of yeah, you know, sort of tell him you know, what he needs to do, but ultimately it's sort of him that's got to make those decisions. And and credit to Zorks, like he just went out and he, he just attacked the footy, and yeah, you know, he worked really hard, and, and he, he used his assets, which is his speed and his agility. And um, you know, the, 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 when he starts to move, he's harder to contain, and he just sort of really it was, it was really a back to basics game for him, really. And he just he just played to his strengths, and um, and we know when he does that, he's um, he's going to be a real threat to the opposition. Our, our guys came up against some pretty classy guys in the midfield, Scott Pendlebury and Steel Sidebottom. How do you think that they went? I was a, look, a bit of a shootout at times in the midfield. Like, you know, if you, you, know, if you refer to centre bounce, like, um, you know, we scored five goals from centre bounce and you know, was ten, in, and they got their share too. Like, they kicked five. So there was, was a period there whoever sort of got their hands in the ball in the middle of the ground and, and got it inside 30 um, was going to score. So, um, yeah, it was great for us to kick five goals from centre bounce, but, um, you yeah, know, I prefer not to let the opposition kick five. So, um, yeah, it was a little bit of a shootout at times, you know, from stoppage. You know, both teams kicked 49 points each from stoppage. So, um, yeah, I'm sure Collingwood would feel the same. Like, you know, they'd be pleased that they could score from them, but um, not be scored again. So we're, we're in the same boat there. So, you yeah, know, we, you know, we've we have been able to score from stoppage. It's a, it's a strength of our game. But um, and up until last week, we've been defending them quite well. So, um, yeah, I think it'd be a focus for us this week to you know defend those areas stronger. Um, we were just talking before about the momentum shift in that game. It sort of was going each way to both sides, but you've seen a real maturity in the lines this year, do you believe? Oh, absolutely. Like, you know, look, it's two five point now, seven point, and I think outside the Richmond game, it's, you know, 20 points. So, um, yeah, that we're, we're on the right track and we're, we're getting there as, as much as that'll be, you know, frustrating for supporters. They just want to see a win. But, you know, internally, like, the mood's still really strong and, you know, we're working in the right direction. The things, the things that we're doing and, you know, you, you base your game around, we're doing quite well. Um, and we just got to continue to execute, you know, the way we did on the weekend, and, and do that for longer periods, and just main constant, maintain concentration at critical times. So, um, yeah, I certainly feel confident that this week we, yeah, we'll be able to do that. But yeah, the momentum shifts in the game. Like there was probably four or five times that Collingwood sort of got away on us that 14, 16, 18 point break, and. Um, you know, maybe in games last year that was enough for the opposition to sort of extend that to five or six goals. But you know, the maturity of the group was that we sort of rallied and fought back, made a couple of little adjustments in the game to deal with that. And, and again, our maturity of our guys to think through that and, and still challenge the opposition was again a, a tick for us. And yeah, we'll continue to bring that each week. And you know, the, the players sort of feel confident now that they can deal with you know, the momentum things. And that takes a bit of maturity and also a little bit of leadership. So, um, yeah, look, that's been a growth for us definitely this year. We've done that a number of times um, this year in games. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a good sign. Great. Thanks so much. All the best for Western Bulldogs this weekend. Cheers. No worries.